Hello everyone and welcome to a short video going over the accessibility options in 0K for people with color vision deficiency, also known as color blindness. To get these options, you go to the menu, as is kind of typical, and the first thing you'll have to do is turn off simple settings in order to actually access these settings. This will make your menu a bit more cluttered than normal, so follow closely. The first one is under settings, interface, team colors. This gives you the ability to change the color of you, your teammates, and your opponents. Instead of having green for yourself and red for your opponents and a massive variety of colors for teammates and other opponents, you'll have teal for yourself, blue for your allies, and orange for your opponents, and colors within that range, like blue, teal-ish, orange-ish. If that doesn't provide enough differentiation between enemies and allies, Simple Colorblind will fix all your allies to one color and all your enemies to another color. So that will keep teal and orange properly separated. It does mean you can't easily differentiate between allies or between individual enemies, but it does make it easier to guarantee you will be able to differentiate allies versus enemies in an 8v8 game. The next setting is under Settings, HUD Panels, Economy Panel. Colorblind mode will change the indicators for your resources from plus for... sorry green for plus gross income and red for minus gross spending to yellow for plus gross income and blue for minus gross spending. This change, however, will not happen until there's been about half a second for it to update. It's a small quirk. So if you happen to be paused in the menu and you change the setting, it won't change until about half a second has passed in game time. Just as a caveat, in case you happen to be paused while in the menu and configuring this. Similarly, spectator panels, the economy panel option under that also has a colorblind mode, which has the same effect. It only works when you're in spectator mode, and those that requires you actually enable that as a spectator. So when you're watching replays, you can turn this on to see everyone's economy. Colorblind options are in there as well. Those are the two main options for people to actually improve their ability to interpret the game. There is a third option, which is actually available when you have simple settings on under accessibility. Now, there is an additional option if you don't have it on, but it doesn't help much. This is basically just a color deficiency simulator. So, you hit the Prononopia, that's how it looks for people with Prononopia, hit Deuteronopia, Trinopia, same thing. It all lets you know what it looks like for people with that condition. And there are some settings and changes you can do, but basically, this setting is f essentially useful for widget writers. If you're making another widget for the game and you want to know whether or not your color palette or your color deficiency mode is going to work for everyone, you can go through here and check the box and see does it work. As you can see, the resource bar don't work for Protonopia and Deuteronopia. So if I wanted to fix that or make sure, oh, does this work? Go, of course, settings, HUD panels, econ economy panel, if I could click on it properly, and check does colorblind mode work. And yes, it's way clearer in colorblind mode. Or at least as far as the simulation is concerned. So, now you can see it's much clearer for people with Protonopia and Deuteronopia, but then for Tridonopia it's not, but we saw before that it it's reasonably visible for people with Tridonopia otherwise in the default mode. So that's, this is useful for widget writers. But, I'm sure anyone who has color deficiency is going to know right off the bat, either it doesn't look like it's doing anything, or it looks like it's actively sabotaging the game. So, this setting, access, under accessibility, is for widget writers, and interface, team colors, as well as interface, HUD panels, economy panel, and colorblind mode there. Those are the two settings for people who have color vision deficiency. That should hopefully help you get into the game and have as enjoyable an experience as possible.